wish I could tell him one more time how much I admired him, how he has always been my idol growing up. Shane, you will forever be my idol, my person, my hero, and most of all, my twin. I can say without a doubt, if I could create a template of what this city needs as a police officer, it would be patrol officer Shane Bartek. The final goodbye for Cleveland police officer Shane Bartek killed in the line of duty. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Mitchell. And I'm Laura Queso. Thousands came to pay respects today during the funeral services for Officer Bartek. Police officers from across the country, dignitaries from across Northeast Ohio, and of course, family and friends who knew and loved him. Brandon Simmons takes us to Middleburg Heights for the emotional farewell to Officer Bartek. On this somber day in Middleburg Heights, Grace Church was filled to capacity as family members, friends, and fellow officers gathered for a final farewell to fallen officer Shane Bartek through song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And prayer. So let them know that you love them, that you're right here with us. Shane was most well known for the love he showed to others and his dream of becoming a police officer. I knew Shane wanted to be a police officer with his joy he had with our first set of walkie-talkies growing up. He would go to one cul-de-sac and I would go to the other and we would talk to each other. Peanut butter, are you there? Over. Jelly, I'm here. Over. One could argue no one knew Shane better than his twin sister Summer, born just 13 minutes ahead of him. Even though he was technically the younger sibling, Summer says Shane always looked out for her as he did with everyone he met. Mostly Shane wanted to be remembered as someone who cared. And in his 25 years, he reached that goal times a thousand. And his love reached so many people in such a short time, close friends and even complete strangers, many of them lining the streets to pay their respects to an officer gone too soon. It's a fate Summer recently asked Shane about, wondering if he was ever scared on the job. It'll play fine out in the end, or if not, I'll be up to see God and the rest of the family. It's a win-win. Officer Bartek was laid to rest at Holy Cross Cemetery, joining his father, Ron, who died three years prior, but not before a final salute to a hero who will be missed by so many. And I hope when the day comes that I leave this earth, he will be there welcoming his 20 home. Now, Officer Shane Bartek was just 25 years old when he died and was only two years into that dream, do dream job on the Cleveland Police Department. And you heard there earlier from Interim Chief Wayne Drummond. He offered his support to the Bartek family, but also said he wishes he had many more officers who were just like Shane, Russ. Okay, Brandon Simmons, thank you.